Welcome back to another Random Bits. In this one, we're going to look at using Docker for game dev. Now, Docker lets you package up software and run it in different places. It's most often used to deploy server-side software into the cloud, but it can also be super useful for running software locally for development and testing. For example, if I run the following command, I would get a MySQL database running on my machine that I can use for developing or testing against. Docker is also super useful for wrapping up tools and scripts so that everyone on your team can share them. And that is what we're going to be doing today. So for example, I have songs written in the ABC text notation that I want to convert into WAV files for my game. I can do this with a couple of command line tools, but to do this, we need to install them first. This is a bit painful as I'm running on Windows and some of my team are running Mac OS. Plus I don't really want to clutter up my system with software installed that I don't use very often nor do I want to write and test installation instructions for everyone. Docker lets me package up these tools and share them with my team or the rest of the world and lets them run it regardless of which operating system they are using. So how does this work? First off, I need to create a Docker file. This file is a set of instructions to build what is called an image. The image contains all the software and scripts I want to share. This image can then be run on any computer that has Docker installed. Lastly, if I want to, I can push the image to a public or private repository so that anyone else can use it without having to build it themselves. Images can also be versioned with tags so it's clear exactly which version of the software is running. Okay, so let's look at our tool. First off, I have a simple shell script that runs the two command line tools. The first command takes the .abc file and converts it into a MIDI file. The next command takes the MIDI file and outputs it as a WAV file. The script also has some basic error checking to ensure that we've passed at least two arguments into the file. So that's my shell script. Next up, we have the Docker file. Uh, and these are the build instructions for Docker to build the image. The first instruction says that we are basing the image on Ubuntu version 20.04. The next statement updates the packages for that Ubuntu installation. And then we install the two pieces of software we want, ABC MIDI and Timidity, which were the two commands that our script runs there and there. Next up, we copy our script into the image and we mark it as being executable. And at that point then, we also tell Docker that we went our script to be the thing that is executed when the container is run. Now we just need to build the container and we do that with a docker command and we do it with the docker build command and we're going to tell it to build uh, the docker file, the dot that's in our current directory and we want to tag the image as uh, with this name rabbit gremlin slash abc to wave and we can then Get Docker to build it. Now, the first time you run this command, it will take a while, uh, but I've already built it, so it's already cached and runs quite quickly. And we now have our uh, image built. Now that we have the image built, uh, we can now run it to convert our file. So we're going to use the docker run command to do this. And this command. looks like this. So we have docker run, um, and we're going to tell it to run the image we've created. We're going to pass in the two files, uh, the input file, example.abc, and the name of the file that we want as an output, example.wave. This minus v command um, simply tells Docker that we want to share the current directory with the container so that the script can read and write our file from it. And so if we run that, it will run the script. And we can see it doing the MIDI conversion. So from the ABC to MIDI, and then taking the MIDI file and converting it back into a WAV file, which we now have uh, in the folder. So we now have an example.wav file, which if we reveal in Explorer, we can now play. Mm -hmm. 
So from here, we can either share the Docker file with our team so they can build it and run the image themselves. Alternatively, we can push our image to a repository so our team doesn't have to do the build step. I won't cover that in this video, but I'll put a link in the description below with more information about how you do that. So please like and share this video if you found it useful. Uh, the example files will be on my Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching.